Hey, welcome back. This is Clay Nelson, Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. And we're talking about the active listening. We're talking about, you know, the art of listening. We're talking about how listening is really the source of good things and the source of things not working or the lack of things, uh, the lack of listening. And one thing, during the, during the break, we had a call. Uh, the personal planning workshop on September 15th and 16th is full. So I'm sorry, we're going to have to go to the next one that's going to be scheduled. And you can get that up on the website. Also, the Getting Started series, uh, Creating Your Purpose uh, CDs and How to Let Fear Serve You, and the Commitment CDs, uh, I've got the new sets in. So those of you that ordered them and you've been on back order, well, get ready. You're fixing to get them. <laughs> so things are happening there. Uh, and we've got all the emails we can handle, guys. So I know. It's great. Clay we got that. At, we got the calls yeah, coming in. Yeah, and, Clay yeah. at MediaSB.com. Uh, that'll be probably all we can handle for right now. So thanks. You can also email me, Clay, at ClayNelsonLifeBalance.com, and I'll get back to you with answers on that email address if you choose. It's, it's amazing, Clay. you got lectures and CDs and website it's, and a blog, and you're streaming a couple of different ways. And i got to tell you, I love this new technology. I love what we're doing. I mean, it's creating a listening for what I have to say and what needs to be said worldwide from little old us right here in this little old studio, and it's just fantastic. So, got it. I mean, just speaking of the technology and yeah. stuff, Irma Bombeck. I have to. I love Irma Bombeck. Yeah. So she says, it seemed rather incongruous that in a society of super sophisticated communication, we often suffer from a shortage of listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Go, Irma. Yeah. You know, and it's like it's the same thing. It's like on the radio show. I mean, I was taught doing radio a year ago that people actually turn the channel instead of listening to me full out for the whole program. They go back and forth, back and forth. So I have to start and stop the segments and remind people where I was and where I'm going and so on and so forth so we can manage people, quite, quite frankly, being, okay, I've had enough of this. Let's go see what's being said over here. So we have a caller on the line now, right? We do. We have Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Bye. Welcome. It's good to hear uh, hear the program, and I am listening. Yeah, good. <laughs> Not just hearing you, but listening. Good, thank you. And uh, what I'm uh, what I'm faced with, I, I should be a very happy camper right now, as it were. Uh, uh, the things I'm doing, and and the creativity that's in my life, and the things I've accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my wife's very focused on uh, some some very big thing. Uh -huh. that I'm very excited about. Yeah. I'm having difficulty in getting into her focus. Yeah, okay. You know, I want, and I want what she wants. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's like I'm on that page, uh -huh. but it's life's stuff that is keeping me from really getting on that page with her 100%, not yeah. getting distracted, that kind of thing. Yeah, okay, so here's what you do. Okay, you ready? I'm is first of all, number one, you need to say to her what you just said to me as a question on this radio show. You need to say, hey, you know, I want to be 100 percent with you and I'm not. So could we work out a way where I could be? Uh, that's number one. Number two, I'm going to give you permission to say to me, you know, I, I need a little space right now. So I don't want to talk about this right now, which is OK with me. But then I request that when it is uh, OK to talk about how I can be a bigger part of this game of yours, that we commit to getting it together so I can feel a part of it. All right. OK. Yeah. So it's all about full and complete communication. And it's all about setting it up so she can hear how you feel and you can hear how she feels. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, my friend? All right. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for calling in. We'll talk oh, to you again. Oh, Bye. please do. Yeah. All right. So being an active listener, you know, an active listener means that you want to show interest, absolute show interest in what you're doing, how you're doing it, what other people are saying. And uh, how do you show your interest? How do you show that you're actively listening? It's very simple. As you sit there and you listen and you get eye contact or you hold the hand of or you turn your chair towards, or you, and you just leave your body opening to hearing what's saying, what's what's being said to you, and you get present. And if you're not present, you say you're not present, and you get back present again. Now, another way to to be really absolutely sure that uh, the person that's talking to you really understands that you're hearing is to say back to them what you've heard them say. 
just absolutely well, what I heard you say was da 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 and you know and what I think about that is now what else would you like to say all right so active listening and the art of active listening takes practice it takes commitment it takes full and complete communication it takes being 100% you know, like present to the fact that, that listening is all about communication. Without communication, we've got nothing, all right? So now think about the different things that would be simply show, you know, that simply would show um, that you were really listening, all right? So instead of being abrupt, instead of being distracted, instead of interrupting, instead of changing subjects, gee, have you ever done that? Or instead of avoiding subjects altogether, we should actually just slow down long enough to hear what people have to say, to hear what your kids have to say, to hear what your wife, your husband, and your coworkers have to say, and really be present to what's going on. Just remember, two ears, one mouth. There you go. Enough said. <laughs> there you go. So, you know, consider what there is for you to teach the, the art of listening, to actually be the art of listening, and what there is for you is family full of communication and life. All right, so now you're listening to Clay Nelson and Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. Um, let me see. You can join us every Wednesday from 2 to 3, 10 to 11, then on Sundays, 12 to 1. I'm Clay Nelson. This is the Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour on KZSB AM 1290 in Santa Barbara. Could you tell me what you think I ought to do? And I said... <laughs>